Hey, it's Kia and I'm here with another video. This video is the pretty in pink tag started by Sasha of What Are You Wearing With Sasha? So I wanted to hop on her tag and show off more of my pink bottles. I did a video um, with some pink bottles for Breast Cancer Awareness month and i will link that video but in this video i'll go into more of my pink bottles let's get into this so my first bottle is a dolce garden and this perfume is very popular on the internet and this is a nice warm floral fruity floral it is your Ylang Ylang, Frangipani, Coconut, Almond Milk, a pretty floral gourmand. Um, when these first came out, I was not really interested. Um, I think that warm floral thing just really threw me. But um, getting my nose on different things and trying different things. I kind of warmed up to this. I haven't used it really, but it is a really nice fragrance in this bottle. Like some people don't like it and think it's cheesy. I think it's cute. I wanted my own little garden with all of them. Um, but just so far I have Dolce and Dolce Garden and I have Shine. The next fragrance is none other than Delina Exclusive. So you guys, where do I even begin? I know everyone has talked about this fragrance. I know it is an icon in her own right. Yes, I said it. She is an icon in the frag game, okay? But let me just go ahead and while you behold her beauty, Delena E., um, opens up with some beautiful lychee and pear and then the rose comes in to support it it has a base of incense oud amber and vanilla and that milky rose gourmand sensual base takes over and you definitely just have this beautiful rose vanilla that I can't get enough of. Um, I literally had to make myself put this down and stop wearing her. And I have not smelled her <laughs> in a little while. However, I mean, everything about just sniffing it right now is bringing back beautiful memories. And how do you have beautiful memories during Corona? But thanks to this one, um, I do. I do have some good memories, like just smelling her. <sighs> Let's talk about her bottle. She does have this imprint here. She has pink tassels. She has a nice heavy metal cap with the logo of Parfums de Marley. And she has a little jewel in the top. Parfums de Marley. Delena Exclusive. The next one I have is Prada Candy. So Prada Candy, Prada Candy is a very sweet gourmand fragrance. Um, when I got this, this was more of my grown up version of pink sugar. So in this you have musk, benzoin, and caramel. It's nice, fun, playful, sweet. Um, I know a lot of people at this point are tired of it and say it has performance issues, but for me, it's just a nice mod and it gets a little powdery. Um, so I still enjoy it. Um, I don't reach for it as much right now, but I'm so glad I'm doing this video because it's literally making me revisit some things that I haven't touched in a while. The next one is Angel Nova. So this is a new one from Moogler that's actually not released in the United States yet. 
This is a fruity, um, I think it's a fruity floral woodsy um, fragrance. It does have the raspberry in the top and then the middle has um, a heart of rose. You get some benzoin, acridala wood and the base. And it is a nice fruity It's so bright and <laughs> it can get really tart, but it does mellow down and becomes more of a a nice rounded raspberry. It doesn't stay very tart um, like the opening, but it does add that brightness. Um, I actually was saying in my other video of my designer fragrance releases for 2020 that I topped this off with some fragrances that might need a little boost, a fruity boost to it. Um, and so I'll use this to top it off. If you mix this with Roses Vanille by Mansara, you pretty much have Delina Exclusive. Longevity, and everything we know of a Moogler fragrance is all in this. And it's just a lot like your Eau Crossiers, the fruity angel flankers. So that's Angel Nova. From Bon Bon Couture. This looks a little purple, but it's frosted pink over here. And I'll call it a pink bottle. But this is Bon Bon Couture. So I got Bon Bon Couture. There was one time in this fragrance journey where I would research a perfume and then realize that there's like 10 flankers or five and I just have to figure out which one is the best for me to get because I'm not going to sit here and just buy 18 perfumes. They all smell relatively similar. Which one is the best one? So after going off a couple recommendations, Bon Bon Couture is the one I ended up with. This is such a cute little bow bottle that I knew I wanted in my collection. So I had to figure out again, which bonbon I wanted. So bonbon couture um, opens up with some fruits, mandarin, neroli, and peach. And then it has the white flowers in the middle with caramel, sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla, and blonde tobacco in it. What people don't tell you about this fragrance is that the vanilla, the benzoin, um, these things, and probably even the caramel makes this a powdery fragrance. That is the difference between this one and the original Bon Bon Couture. I think the original Bon Bon Couture may have a more perfumey type smell. Um, from the white flowers, but this one is a little bit more gourmand and powdery. So that took me aback when I first got it because I blind bought it. <laughs> but I said, let me just, it's nothing I could do at this point because I actually got my bottle engraved because I was so excited to get it. So you can't return them grape bottles. It's engraved with my name. But Again, I'm really glad that I'm doing this tag because it's making me revisit some of these perfumes that I just don't really touch. I knew that I wanted to get more into this um, in the fall. But here's the thing. So you do get this, you get a white floral smell, you get the caramel, you get the powder, and you get another scent that's enriching this fragrance. So all of those things, you're, you're not going from like, oh, blast citrusy opening down to, no, this is just powdery caramel, white florals, and then something else that's enriching this fragrance. And what I realized and figured out, because before I wanted to really just smell it, not really analyzing and dissecting it and just do I like it or you don't like which is it but after looking into the notes the scent that is enriching this fragrance 
that's standing up behind the caramel and the powderiness and the white florals is the blonde tobacco. <laughs> there was something about this that was keeping me from like really loving it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was the warm weather um, over the summer. This is not a summer fragrance. Um, but there was just something about it that was just like, okay, I got to deal with the powder, but what is it? white blonde tobacco and this blonde tobacco is similar to Amwash Sunshine Woman and now that I understand this a little bit better like it's a great it's a great fragrance on well, first sniff I was like Ugh, I don't want a powdery gourmand like I don't but the white tobacco in this it's not super prominent but like I said, it just enri enriches the smell, the fragrance. And I'm appreciating this a whole lot more. And I will be wearing this more during the fall. This Burberry Her has flankers of Burberry Intense, Burberry Her Blossom, and the new Burberry Her London Dream. Um, I spoke about that one in my last video of the... Design, new designer fragrances for 2020, but this is the original in this line um, by Master Perfumer, an FK that we all love. This is also said to be a dupe of Baccarat by 40, MFK's standout star fragrance. So this fragrance has notes of berries, violet, jasmine, woods and amber this really so the baccarat signature is that ambery deep enveloping smell but what really drew me to this is that it had that note of it was like strawberry a lot of times i'll smell strawberry and it smells very um air freshener kind of like very synthetic pretty scratchy um this is not like oh all natural strawberry but it's a strawberry that i recognize and smell good to my nose and i just fell in love with so i had to grab a bottle i'm loving this and i look forward to getting the intense over the holidays my next bottle is this one it has raspberry pink juice in it the infamous legs in the air this is so scandal by jean paul gaultier so scandal is a tuberose a raspberry milky balm you really have to love tuberose to get into this which i was not when i purchased this however the fruitiness from the raspberry really drew me in and then it does get very very creamy um i appreciate this for helping me to appreciate tuberose this is so scanned out by jpg we have this gorgeous blush pink bottle this is c fiori by giorgio armani this is a flanker of the original c um this I just think the I think the bottles are so cute. I love the black lacquer tops. Um, you do have the Giorgio Armani logo on the atomizer. This blush pink, powdery pink bottle is oh so cute. But let's talk about the fragrance. It has black currant, green mandarin, patchouli, um, oak moss, rose, vanilla and white musk this fragrance where else can i spray it i don't have any cards out let's see this is the absolute it's hard <laughs> categorize them because you know Delina is my favorite 
but this creamy rose is so beautiful, delicate, dainty. I would say this is a wedding scent. The black currant, the mandarin, rose, vanilla, and white musk. It's everything. Um, if you have not gotten your nose on this, definitely do. I will say that I let my sister smell this, one of my sisters, um, because I thought this was very much her style. Like, it, more classic, more um, put together, more... just grown and mature you know so i thought oh a pretty rose that's not loud that's not arrogant that's not too shy that's not but just pretty and elegant would be her style she was like powdery rose that smells kind of grandma like however <laughs> she said her husband complimented her on this and um Listen, I love it. It's very popular in the frag community. I highly suggest it. Um, it's it's beautiful. That's Sea Fiori by Giorgio Armani. My next pink bottle is Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. So this one I pretty much had to have because of the bottle. The original Absolute, as this is the flanker, um, is a lighter pink and white. Um, but this hot pink and this uh, crystal bottle is just was just gorgeous to me. Some people find it very tacky. There's the um, Versace logo and emblem on the top. Half the fragrance is the top. <laughs> The rest is the actual fragrance. But let's talk about the perfume. So this is Yuzu Pomegranate. They have Ice Accords. And this, there's Raspberry, Lotus, Peony, Magnolia. And then in the base you have Woods, Amber, and Musk. So this one is a bright, fruity floral um the other one is the same a bright fruity floral but it stayed very bright very sparkling throughout the life of the fragrance but this one is deepened the absolute is deepened i think with the addition of the raspberry it feels deeper with raspberry and amber in the base so it's still a very classic office scent, very pretty, fresh, and clean. Um, I love this in the spring and in the summer. I didn't quite use, as, use it as much as I had planned, but I loved it for the bottle. Pink bottles, pretty and pink. The last fragrance that I pulled out is a Britney Spears private show with the cute pink little top. This is your one ounce bottle. Um, it has this sort of diamond bottle with the different facets. Gold neck, pink clear top. This came out in 2016 as a floral fruity gourmand. Um, Brittany says that she <laughs> made this to be an uplifting and sexy scent um, for her fans. This um, is always referred to as an iced coffee fragrance. So there's some citruses in the opening, there's white florals, and then there's sort of a dulce de leche note in the middle. Um, it is grounded or in the base, you have the amber and musk. So this is a very easygoing one that I actually really like. Um, 
when I got it, I probably wore it the entire week because it was just one of those kind of comforting scents. Um, not too deep, not too sweet. It was just easy going and mainstream for the average person. For me, you know, it was not too um, screechy with synthetic uh, notes giving me a headache. It's just a nice, easy going perfume. Now, clearly I have issues with recognizing coffee and fragrances. This says iced coffee. I think my mind has a hard time putting white florals with coffee. I drink coffee every day um, and I never really think of white florals when I'm drinking my coffee. Um, but this is Dulce de Leche. It's sweet. It's pretty. It's Britney Spears private show. Those were the 10 bottles I pulled out. I'm sure I have more. But I just wanted to give you 10 so that this video didn't have to be way too long. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have not done this tag, please do. I like to hear about people's um, bottles and fragrances that they love. So, uh, that's all I got for you today. So, see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.